That voice is the one which haunts you. Cursed, untouchable one. O oh, God's beloved child, those who prevent our prayers, get, destroy, burn with God's fire. What? Doc? Th these guys, what is this? Bart? Billy? Doc, what's going on? Wh what are you all? Doc, answer me! One of the Solaris Guardian Angels is here, Hugo Richto. This man is Cain, receiving the orders from the one known as Emperor. You've entered his realm and have been under his continued supervision. Solaris Guardian Angel, monitoring me? Oh yes. We've guided Solaris and even selected the Animus, which have been drawn to you, and guided you here to Solaris. The Animus is needed for our resurrection. These are our bodies. This is what we possess. Yes, this is the only reason we exist. The bodies of Bart and the others belong to you? Is that true, Doc? What are they saying? Why so apprehensive? Is it that you were sold out by the one you trusted? I'm not talking to you guys. Doc, answer me! Three years. What? For three years I have been by your side. I had to determine whether you were going to be our en enemy or not. Revenge? Yes, the enemy. Your existence is a threat to us. It was necessary to keep an eye on you. The one who ordered you to be watched was Cain. We were planning on the maturation of the Animus and your termination. We also sent Huga to you. However, every attempt to terminate you has failed because of that good-for-nothing trash. Even so, we now possess Animus. Huga has fulfilled his duties well. Is, is, is that it? You were in with these guys? That's why you, everyone, why? You've had your way all this time with us land dwellers. You already own the world. What more do you want? You must know by now that we plan to resurrect God. God will awaken from his long slumber after man has populated the land. Then Mahanon too will awaken. Aerial paradise Mahanon? The place fell to earth. Paradise. <laughs> That may be a proper description. Our Ark. In the center block, Lord Mahanon is sealed in. That is, the source of God's wisdom, a paradise of knowledge. Using that knowledge, we will resurrect the awakened God and build our Ark to take us both into the great universe. The construction of our Ark. To reign over God's forces in this great universe. The creation of the angel Malak. The M project was for that very purpose. What do you mean? We are orphans in this universe. We were thrown away onto this planet in solitude along with God. We humans were not born on this planet. Long ago we came here from another heavenly body. We are beings from an alien planet. That's ridiculous. This is true. You have seen the various regions of this world. Why do you think there are no records of humans before 10,000 years ago? What? This is the will of God. The God's revival has been fated since before the time before Genesis. We will be one with God, attaining a new animus. We will once again return to the starry skies. That is the meaning of our existence. That is our supreme objective. So you're not planning on using Solaris's power to dominate the world? Of course. What meaning is there in having control of a planet as insignificant as this? God has given us the right to rule over the universe. Yes, only we, who do not carry impure blood, have the right to a pardon. So we will resurrect God. It's been an eternity since our exile from paradise. If the time of God's revival does not come, we will have to follow the path to destruction, but having attained Animus, our resurrection is near. Next is God's resurrection. Krellian? This one only waits for the awakening. Ellie!
the hell is he doing? Is he trying to awaken her? Where? Where am I? I've looked into your records. Krellian? Commander? Elhaim Van Houten. That incident at the Jugend one year ago. Case 102, the release of your latent powers from that systematic administration of mental enhancement drugs. In that instant, your ether value had increased beyond 400, and in that moment, two were critically wounded and three required recycling. Am I right? Please, stop! But, this record is wrong. This wasn't the usual uncontrollable mental side effects. This was caused by the awakening of your other inner self. My other self? Where's Faye? Where is everyone? They will be used as an offering for the resurrection of the Gazelle Ministry. The same fate await that, awaits that girl, the artificial organism. I've already taken enough samples from her. I'm already well into the fourth stage of my plan. All I need now is the final factor. Hence, your friends are no longer of any use to me. They're worthless. But you were different. You're planning on saying them to the same fate as th those people in the research facility. Doing all this for your own selfish ambitions. Do you know what you're doing? People playing with other people's lives. That's deplorable. I see. So you've seen the research facility. Presently, the Solaris researchers are working on genetic engineering down there. It's just a nest for fools who've learned the despicable pleasure of playing with their own organ organic creations. They seek only serendipity and inhumanity. That is not my place. I specialize in molecular engineering. Nanotechnology. Do you know what this is? A nanomachine. A molecular machine. This is the assembler, which is one of those nanomachine machines. It can break down molecules and atoms and reconstruct it into anything. Each of these spheres are equivalent to an atom. Until recently, we were only able to produce materials which were several times the size of this. Thanks to that girl, the one we obtained from the ruins of the Zebuin civilization, we are now able to make it this compact and elaborate. To think that such a mechanism was created 4,000 years ago, it's quite astonishing. Up until we discovered this, the, r the work was rather crude, the best we could possibly do. Until now was to apply amino acid solutions to wounded areas for amelioration or to seal up any peculiar abilities. I'm sure you've had some exposure to genetics when you were in the Jugend. Each type of those enzymes inside the DNA are also molecular machines that were created by nature. That is, if we are indeed the progeny of the very first organism. What do you think of accomplishing by using that molecular machine? What connection do I have with it? Although the nanomachines up until now could recombine DNA, they couldn't uncover any information in the intron, which are located in the replacements of the double helix. However, the newer nanomachines easily discovered this data data that originally should not have existed, and we are about to see the results of that. Oh. According to the transferred record, it depicts a similar wave frequency as expected. And yes, the Aurobolus ring. That is it, isn't it? Miang and Lake Hand's actions. This explains everything. Elaim. You were the mother. Mother? Yes. This is what your genetic exon looked like before replacement. This is the conceptualized form of the intron which carries information that isn't supposed to exist. Observe. This is the aerobulus ring which contains intron information which only exists in certain people. Aerobulus. If we were to an wow. if we were to anatomize such a thing, wouldn't you be interested in what type of information it would have to offer us? Mm. El Haim, you are beautiful. When I look at you, I appreciate the artistic aspect of the human form, its elaborateness. 
I can't help but feel the importance of that. As if my molecular machine is unworthy of you. You haven't changed since then. Just like the other one, Lakan. That's a lot of big words that he used. But we're back to Faye, who also received many big words. Ugh. You traitor. Are you conscious? Doc. It is impossible to move. This machine has physically cut your nerve signals. You will not be able to lift a finger regardless of what your mind says. What are you going to do to me? To pardon them? Where is Ellie? Do not worry. They have their roles. You have yours. I simply investigate. Damn it! This! What was I? So the battle has been fought, you say. That was discussed earlier by the Ministry. God damn it! We weren't born to be used by them! We didn't come all the way to Solaris for that! I... We... Everyone, we were... We just want to make a place where we can belong. That's what we were fighting for. But now... It is much easier to be given a place to belong than to make one yourself. You do not even understand a simple concept like that? Only the true... Childish ideals pale when placed before reality. But actually, many are satisfied with that. Being given one's place frees one from any risks. Misfortunes may be blamed on others. Do you know why people cannot exist alone, but only under some big, bigger concept, such as a group or country? People need a place to go to be themselves. The more stable it is, the more effective it is. The ministry gives them such a place. Under total surveillance, there is no need to bear the risk of maintaining one's own individuality. They simply live under the delusion of being an individual. What could be easier? Facts are facts, so let's just accept them. It will be easier for all of us. Resistance is futile. It only makes things painful. I, I. Do you still intend to do something about it? Look at yourself. What do you think you could possibly do at this stage? You can't move. You could not even protect your friends who fought with you when they needed you. You could not even protect the most important person in your life, Ellie. Why 